Welcome to the My Swim Pro Dryland Training Boot Camp. Today we are focused on shoulder health. It's going to be low impact, total body, core stability, all swimming specific exercises. My name is Ferris Sabetti. I'm the co founder and CEO of My Swim Pro. And wherever you're joining me from around the world, welcome. Whether you're just starting out your day or you're closing out the day doing this workout with us, thank you for so much for being involved. Today's workout, like I said, is low impact. And to show you just how low impact it is, we're actually gonna start out by sitting on the couch. If you have a chair, you can do that. You can also do this warm up on your knees if you'd like. If you have a Swiss ball, you can do that as well. But today we're doing low impact, which means we're not gonna be hitting our joints, our knees, our hips, our ankles. We're gonna take the weight off of that. We're gonna focus on our core, specifically in this section right here, all the way from the abs, down through the hip flexors, the quads, the hamstrings, the glutes, and the lower back and we're gonna focus on our shoulders. So like I said, it's low impact. We're gonna start out pretty simple sitting. We're just gonna do arms, arm swings. Go ahead and do the exercise with me. We're gonna do arm swings, get the upper body nice and warm, nice and loose. Again, you can do this on your knees. You can do this on a Swiss ball. Whatever is comfortable, you can do this standing. If you'd like to go standing, same thing. So we're gonna get the arms nice and swinging. Again, I'm showing the low impact version of this, but you can do this standing as well. So. Let's go ahead and transition to arm circles. We're gonna make small arm circles in the forward direction. Go ahead and do the exercise with me. Again, you can be sitting on a Swiss ball, but there's no equipment required for this workout. Go ahead and reverse small circles going backwards. This is a great way to warm up your upper body. You can do this when you go to the pool before you go for a swim. Dynamic, dynamic stretch before you get in the water, static after. Same thing applies on land. Okay, we're gonna go medium sized circles, medium. And if you can, go ahead and pay, uh, put your palms facing the walls away from you. If you're outside, make sure you're facing away. And then we're gonna go medium circles backwards. If you're just joining us, welcome to my Swim Pro Dryland Boot Camp. Okay, we're gonna go big circles forward. Now, again, you can be on your knees, you can be on a Swiss ball, you can be standing. A lot of different ways you can do this. All right, here we go. Big circles forward and then big circles backwards. Today we're gonna to hit the total body movement. We're gonna work every part of our body, low impact though. And one more time, big circles moving forward, yes. Good, now the arms should be burning. If your arms aren't burning, yeah, I don't know what you're doing. Keep your arms straight if you can. Woo, go ahead and shake it out, excellent job. Okay, we're gonna do the standing, kneeling, or sitting rotation, so go ahead and put your hands like you're gonna put a tray, a plate, right over your arms. From your elbow to your elbow should be absolutely straight. We're gonna rotate. Nice and controlled, we're gonna rotate. Now as we rotate, we're actually gonna open up our arm. So go ahead and open up your arm. Make sure you got enough room. Open up your arm. So we are warming up our core. Now this is the easiest version of this. Again, you can do this standing. Go ahead and keep doing it. A little bit more rotation, a little bit more core stability. You can do this sitting on a Swiss ball. And of course, you can do this standing, yes. Good, I'm starting to get out of breath. Hope you guys are too. All right, next thing we're gonna do is the robot high knees. So this one, I do prefer you to stand. We're literally just gonna stand like this, lift your knees up. The high impact version is running in place, high knees, but this is robot high knees. So we're lifting our knee up as high as you can. Nice little crunch, but keep your body nice and tall. Good. And while we're staying in this position, we're gonna do the dynamic hamstring stretch. So this one, keep your leg as straight as you can. Try and touch your toe. Arm straight, leg straight. Go ahead and switch legs. Whoop. Try and keep your posture nice and tall. Dynamic hamstring stretch. Now remember, we do dynamic stretching before we do the workout and then static stretching after the workout. Great job. Go ahead and have a seat with me. We're gonna do backstroke, you bet, backstroke. The way this works, you can do this on a Swiss ball or sitting on a couch. Put your hands on the couch or the chair and you're gonna lift up one leg and the opposite arm, you're gonna point that toe like you're doing backstroke, bring it down. Reach up, this arm should be straight, opposite leg should be straight. You should feel this in the hands, in the hip flexor, just like you're doing a backstroke kick. And down, switch. Let's go six more, switch. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. 
Go ahead and stick out your foot. Let's do ankle circles. If you can see my foot, I'm doing ankle circles. With my right foot, I'm doing clockwise position. Maybe you guys see it counterclockwise. Now reverse, counterclockwise. Go ahead and keep your posture nice and tall as you're sitting. Let's get that ankle nice and mobility. Other leg, switch. Let's go clockwise. Clockwise with ankle circles. Uh, do the circle with me, point those toes. And counterclockwise. Go ahead and, you know, you should feel that in the hip flexor as well. Kind of get that leg stability. All right, good, 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 good. Okay, meet me at the ground. Last part of our warm up, we're gonna go the scorpion. Ooh. So if you're not familiar, you're gonna lie on your stomach, arms at your side, or out to here actually. And then you're gonna lift the opposite leg. You're gonna tap the ground with your toe, like a scorpion. And you do the opposite with the other leg. We got a couch next to you, but you guys get the picture. You're gonna alternate. Big reach, go. And then over there, I'll actually switch it for you guys so you can see my position. You're gonna reach over, touch. Touch, keep touching, here we go, scorpion. Whoop. Try and get your toe reaching, lower back. There's a nice dynamic movement, good. One more time. And relax, excellent. While you're still on the ground, go ahead and meet me on all fours. We're gonna go cat-cow tilt. This is a great way to engage the core. Continued, here we go. You're gonna drop your hips, you're gonna push your hips out, get your head to the ceiling. And then you're gonna relax it in, you're gonna tuck and you're gonna flex the core. You're gonna get your lower back and butt in there. And then switch, here we go, cat cow toes. Let's go six more. And then in. And then out, this is the last part of our warm up. In. And uh, two more. In. And out. Uh, all right, nice job. Go ahead and get a drink before we get started on the preset. We're gonna go two presets, then we're gonna go a main circuit where we're gonna go three rounds through it, and we're just gonna crank right through these two presets, okay? Go ahead and get that drink, the first preset. You're gonna go planks, and the planks are a great way for core stability. It's kind of like streamline. Streamline is the most important and fundamental position in swimming. Really, it's the extension of every stroke, and a lot of different dry land movements are gonna emphasize that. So we're gonna go plank position. Go ahead and meet me in the plank. Then we're gonna go a few different variations. Here we go, we're going a plank in three, two, one. Plank, good. Now the goal of the plank is to get your body as flat as possible. If you can meet me on all fours, that's awesome. If you can be on your knees, that's great too. If you, it's still too difficult, you can elevate your hands. So go ahead and put your hands on the couch and on your knees. The goal is to keep your body flat all the way from your shoulders, all the way down to your ankles. Keep your body as flat as possible. We're gonna add a few different complicated variations of this, but this is just to get us started, to get the core nice and warm. We're gonna add some complexity in just a little bit. Hold it. Good, five more seconds. Three, two, one. Relax, nice work. All right, that was the first version of the plank. Now it's gonna get a little bit more interesting. We're gonna go ahead and start lifting different parts of our body from the core central plank position. So we're gonna start with raising our arm. We're gonna go 15 seconds with the right arm raise, 15 seconds with the left arm raise. And go on my count, we're gonna go in three, two, one. Get in the plank position. Now we're gonna go ahead and raise one arm, hold it out there, try and keep your body flat, keep your arms straight. Might help to widen your feet just a little bit, maybe half a meter between them. Hold, we're gonna switch in three, two, one. Switch arms. Again, try and hold that body flat. Keep your arms straight if you can, if you're on all fours. Well, you're on three right now. Hold it, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, nice job. So we just did some alternating arm planks. Now we're gonna lift up our legs. So we're gonna still be on three points, hand, hand, and then one foot. We're gonna raise the foot. We're gonna go 15 seconds on the right foot, 15 on the left foot. Go ahead and meet me in the neutral plank position in three, two, one, plank. Go ahead and lift one of your legs. Now remember, you wanna keep your body nice and flat. Your legs should be flat, point your toe if you'd like. 
Keep your legs straight, feel it. Cross sectional, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. Switch, here we go. Other foot, point your toe. Keep your body flat, hips in line. Nice job. Three, two, one. Relax. Nice job, guys. Guys and girls, you're killing it right now. Keep up the great work. We have two more variations of the plank. This one is gonna be the alternating arm and leg plank. So we're gonna start out in the neutral position. We're gonna raise one arm and the opposite leg. Meeting in the neutral plank position in three, two, one. Neutral, now raise one arm and one leg. Feel that balance, straight arm, straight leg. Breathe, continue to breathe. Breathing's good. We're gonna switch in three, two, one. Switch, opposite, opposite. Focus on your breathing. Keep your arms straight, legs straight. Don't let yourself sag to one side or the other. Hold it. Three, two, one. Relax, nice job. Woo, starting to feel that core stability. This is preset number one. We have another preset after this in the main circuit. Let's finish up this preset number one. We have one more variation of the plank. We're gonna do the upward plank. All right, upward plank. We're gonna flip it over. We're gonna be on our heels. Again, we want our body flat. So we're gonna bridge up. We're gonna hold it for half a minute, 30 seconds. Meet me in the upward plank. In three, two, one, upward plank. So you're gonna be on your heels. Try and get your body nice and flat. And you should be looking at the sky, the ceiling. Check out your ceiling if you need to paint it. This is a good opportunity to check out your home. <laughs> Hold it. Oh yeah, feel the burn. You should feel this in your hamstrings, glutes, lower back. If you feel the shoulder stress, it's okay. Just sit this one out. Go to a normal plank if you need to, no problem. We're gonna hold this. For five, four, three, two, one. Relax, nice. Go ahead and get a drink, water break, towel break. We're gonna head into the preset number two, then we go right into the main circuit. So the preset, we're gonna do a few different bar, bear crawl variations. These are really fun because you get to do a lot of things you used to do when you were a kid. So if you're a kid watching this, welcome. <laughs> if you're an adult, let's go back to our childhood days. We're gonna go bear crawl, frontwards and backwards. So we're gonna go 20 seconds of this. So you're actually in a bear crawl, you're on all fours, you're not on your knees, kind of like a plank. And you're actually gonna take small steps forward, like a bear, and then small steps backwards. All right, so let's finish up that drink water break. Let's get right into it. Here we go, we're gonna go bear crawl front and back, four or five steps forward, four or five steps backwards. We're gonna go three, two, one, bear crawl. Crawling like a bear. Oh yeah. And then backwards. Go ahead and tie your hands so they alternate. Like you're crawling. Good. Forward and backwards. This is really feeling it in the core. Hip flexors. That's the thing that connects your legs to your upper body. Good. Three, two, one. Relax. Nice job. So we're gonna go the bear crawl lateral now. So we're gonna do the same thing, but we're gonna move side to side. I'm gonna go ahead and change my position so you guys can see me. Right to left. Here we go, three, two, one. Bear crawl. Take a few steps to the right, a few steps to the left. Remember, you're on all fours. If you can hold on just your feet and your hands, that's awesome. Try not to keep your knees on the ground. Nice and slow, this isn't a race. Five, four, three, two, one. Relax, nice job. All right, we've got two more bear crawl variations. Ooh, this is a fun one, we're going rotation. So we're actually gonna move like a clock on all fours. Front bear crawl, we're gonna rotate. Then we're gonna rotate the opposite side. So we're gonna go clockwise and counterclockwise. Don't worry about how fast you go, just worry about that stability as you rotate. So, 
We're gonna go clockwise and counterclockwise. Three, two, one, go. All right, I'm crawling, here we go. I'm doing the full clock. I'm gonna switch once I get back to the 12 clock and switch to the other side. Rotate counterclockwise. A lot of stabilizers being activated right now. This is great. And relax. Woo! Nice job. Give yourself a round of applause. That was fun. Okay, we're gonna go last version of this. We're gonna go the bear crawl alternating hold. So what we're gonna do, I'll demonstrate really quick. You're gonna be on all fours. So notice I'm not on my knees. And we're gonna alternate. Leg and arm straight. Drop it down. Straight arm, straight leg. We're gonna alternate. Okay, we're gonna go 12 total, six each leg rotation, okay? You're not rotating, just alternate. Here we go. Meet me in the ready crawl position. We're gonna go 12 total on your own count. If you're a pro, go 16. If you're a beginner, go eight. If you're just getting started, go six. I'm gonna go 12 total, six each arm and leg. Here we go, meet me in the crawl. Three, two, one. We're in the crawl and go. One, two, Three, four, three, five, six, try and be straight, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nice job. That was awesome, guys. You're doing a great job. I want to thank you again for joining me. We're going to hit the main circuit now. Main circuit, we're gonna go three rounds. Go ahead and grab a water, get your towel. This is a good water break if you need it. We'll take a little break between each of these three rounds. We're gonna go through a series of exercises and we're gonna crank through them one after another, then we take a break after the whole circuit. I'm gonna guide you through it. Just to give you a preview so you know what's coming. We're gonna go dead bug for 20, that's laying on our back. Then we're gonna go scapula push-ups alternating jack knives, then we're gonna go hip bridge, then we're gonna go isometric external rotations. I'm gonna walk you through each of those. Round two will go a little bit faster, round three will go even faster. Here we go, we're gonna start with a dead bug. We're gonna go 20 repetitions where we lay on our back, just like this, and then we're gonna alternate, arms straight, and we alternate the other leg, got it? Here we go, we're gonna get started for 20 of those, 10 total each arm. 20 total, going in three, two, one, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice job. Now we're gonna go scapula push-ups. Go ahead and get in the push-up position. I'm actually gonna do these in a plank position. A little bit less stress on the elbows. Basically, you're in the plank, body's flat, and you're gonna lower your body without bending your elbows. Get the shoulder blades to touch and back up. We're gonna go 10 of those. Here we go. Three, two, one. Down. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Go ahead and lay on your back. We're gonna go alternating jack knives. This is where your arms are gonna touch your opposite leg. Legs are straight. Here we go. We're gonna go like this. That's one. Here we go. In three, two, one. Touch. That's one. We're going 20. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-
12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice job. All right, we're almost done with the main circuit. Round one, we're gonna have a hip bridge. Go ahead and put your elbows well, on your back. Heels are on the ground. We're gonna lift our hips up. We're gonna go 10 reps. Three, two, one. Up, oh, that's one. Squeeze the top. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice strap. Okay, go ahead and meet me sitting on the couch for the Swiss ball. The last thing here is the isometric external rotation. I mentioned we're working on our shoulder health. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your elbow at a 90 degree angle. We're going to do this for both arms. We go 15 seconds. You're going to try and pull your hand out. You're going to use the muscles in your shoulder to reach out, but this arm is going to resist that. Grab your arm, you're going to resist. Here we go, 15 seconds. Three, two, one, resist. So at this point, your arm is pulling into your body. Meanwhile, the arm with a 90 degree angle is pulling away from your body. Three, two, one, relax, shake it out. We're going to go the opposite side. This arm is 90 degrees. Trying to pull out, this arm is holding it in. Three, two, one, go. Feel the stress, keep your body nice and tall. This is shoulder health, mobility, stability. Three, two, one. Woo, nice job, congrats on finishing round one. Let's take a water break and then we're gonna hit round two. Two, 
One, bridge up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. All right, the last part of the round two, we're gonna go the isometric external rotations. Go ahead and have a seat. You can do this standing, you can do this on a Swiss ball. You can also do this, not isometric version, with resistance bands, fantastic. You can also do it laying on your side. We're gonna go isometric, no equipment, no problem. Here we go. 90 degrees, we're gonna hold it. Three, two, one, go. Keep your body nice and tall, breathe. Good. Three, two, one, switch, shake it out. Three, two, one, go. Keep your body nice and tall. It shouldn't be the hardest exercise in your life, but by the end of it, you should definitely feel some burn in that shoulder. Stability, keep your back flat, chest tall. Three, two, one, relax. Nice, go ahead and shake it out. That was round two of the main set complete. We've got one more round. You know what's coming. Go ahead and grab a drink, and then we'll meet you on the mat. We're gonna go round three. Here we go. Let's get ready to go in 15 seconds. Round number three, starting with that dead bug. Go ahead and meet me on the ground. Round three of the main circuit. This is gonna be a good one. Here we go. We're leaving in three, two, one. Dead bug, one. Two, we're going 20. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, nice job. You just completed the first exercise of the last round of the circuit. All right, we're gonna go scapula push-ups. Go ahead and meet me in that push-up or plank position. We're gonna go 10, leaving in three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. Alternating jackknives. Here we go. Keep your body on your back. Legs are straight. We're leaving in three, two, one. Go. One, two. Three, this one burns. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Nice job, that one really hits my lower abs. Hope you guys feel it too. We're gonna go the hip bridge. We've got two more exercises of round three. Go ahead and put your feet flat on the ground, really being in three, two, one. Hips up, one, two, three, four, five, come on now, six. Feet are flat. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Nice job. All right, we're so close, everybody. We're gonna go those isometric external rotations. Then we're gonna cool it down. Go ahead and meet me on the couch. Have a seat or stand up, up to you. Remember, we're going 90 degree angle onto your side. We're at 90. Let's try and hold this one a little bit longer. I want you to really feel the burn in that shoulder. It shouldn't hurt. You should feel a little bit of discomfort. That's how you know you're doing it right. Sit tall, back straight. 
90 degree, we're leaving in three, two, one, pull. You should feel that resistance. You control the resistance, so make sure you're giving yourself good effort. You should feel the burn. If you're not feeling it, try a little bit harder. Three, two, one. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Here we go. Other arm, other arm, last part here. 90 degrees, leading in three, two, one, go. Feel that resistance. These are isometric, it means we're holding it. You know, if you do a resistance band, you're not isometric, you're moving through the motion. That's a great variation. You should do this two or three times per week all the time. Hold, hold, hold. Three, two, one. Relax, shake it out. Awesome job, everyone. Congratulations, you completed almost the low impact dry land boot camp. Last thing we're gonna do is a little bit of a hamstring stretch. We're gonna, work, we're gonna stretch the shoulders. Go ahead and meet me. Uh, legs are a little bit wider than shoulder width. Keep your legs straight, back flat, you're gonna lean over. This is a great hamstring stretch. We did a lot of things to get the core nice and warm. We're gonna make sure we stretch out the back side of our leg. That'll be the hamstrings glutes, lower back, and then we're also going to stretch the other side, so the hip flexors, the quads, the front of the core, and of course the shoulders. Go ahead and reach down, let your body hang. Oh yeah, go ahead and reach over to one side, the right and the left. Open up your body, legs straight, arms to the ceiling. Go ahead and crawl over to the other side. Lift one arm up, try and get to the ceiling, lift the ceiling if you can. Back down in the middle, hang. Go ahead and roll up slowly. Good, 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 good. We're gonna head over to the hip flexor stretch. Trying to keep your body nice and nice and tall. 90 degree angle, hands on your hips. You're gonna sit tall. You're gonna push your hips, pelvic tilt. You're gonna feel the stretch in the front of your leg. That's your hip flexor. That's the thing that connects your leg to your body. It's incredibly important in freestyle, dolphin kick, every time you push off the wall. It gets really tight actually when you run, when you walk, when you sit for a long time, when you do exercises like this. Go ahead and lift your arms to get it straight. Feel that stretch right over here. Okay, good. Feel it. Three, two, one. And then we're going to switch legs. Switch your legs. Remember, 90 degree here. Keep your body nice and tall. Hands on your hips. Push your, your pelvis forward. You should really feel it on the outside, the front of that leg. Raise your arm for added. Oh yeah, that feels good, doesn't it? Make sure you're breathing. Breathing is super important. Good, good, good. All right, last part of that stretch, good. Now the last stretch we're gonna do, you can do sitting or standing. I'm gonna do sitting. Have a seat with me if you got a Swiss ball couch or chair. You can do shoulder stretch. Go ahead and have your arms straight, parallel to the ground. We're gonna reach over, opposite arm is gonna pull it in. Try and keep that arm straight. You should feel a stretch right here on the top of the shoulder, outside, right outside the tricep, between the tricep and shoulder. Try and keep your arm as straight as you can. Posture nice and tall. Feel good, you guys just did an awesome 30 minute or so workout. Total body, core specifically, good bit of shoulder action. The scapula push-ups, we did that. Isometric external rotations, awesome. Go ahead and shake it out, relax. Other arm, parallel, reach over, opposite arm holds it in. Now remember, these are static stretches. So we do static stretches at the end of our activity, after our heart rate has already been elevated, the muscles are warm. We wanna do static stretching to get that blood flow and make sure we're not tight for the next workout we do and for the rest of our day. In the beginning of a workout, we do dynamic stretches. That's where we don't hold the activity. We wanna get the blood flow and we wanna activate the, the central nervous system. We wanna get the muscles activating, firing, to improve our performance during the main circuit. If you're not doing a workout, you don't need to do any of this, you can do static stretching. Otherwise, dynamic stretching before, static stretching after. Go ahead and shake it out. I wanna thank you guys again for joining the MySwim Pro Dryland Training Bootcamp, total body, low impact, no equipment, no pool, no excuses. I hope you guys are doing super well. Make sure you're following a training program in the MySwim Pro app, available for iPhone and Android. If you're watching this video in the app, Thanks for being a subscriber and for being a part of the global community. Wishing you guys well, and we'll see you at the next workout. Bye.